Hi guys and welcome back to Firewatch. I believe this is part six. Um, yeah, I'm doing like a ton of recording because it's picking up a lot, and I'm wanting to play it, and I'm wanting you guys to see it. So I'm going to be uploading. I've recorded uh, three, two other parts before this. This is the third. I'm just going to put them all up at the same time. I hope that's a good idea. Um, I don't know. I'm just so excited. My channel is still new and I'm trying to trying to get up as many videos as possible. So anyway, in the last episode, we found we got into the um, through the fence uh, Wapiti, the Wapiti uh, area. We found uh, a big tent that was set up and it had like cots in it. It had stove. It looked like they were people were living there. We found um, some kind of beeping device and it led us to a tracking device that they had on their desk. So that's kind of crazy. They uh, were um, writing down our conversations. They, uh, oh my gosh, this is a big mess. I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, one more thing I want to say. In case you didn't see the last episode, there's some people trying to bait. Okay, based off our own our conversations between me and Delilah, uh, when we're talking about the fire. Oh my God, I don't, I don't even remember. I'm just like so caught up and continuing. Basically, there's these people who are trying to blame this fire being put into the woods by Delilah and myself, and they're trying to blame it all on us. So she's freaking out. I'm trying to tell her to be calm. There is a cave that I have to go explore. There's supposed to be something in it. The cave is right there. So I don't have to go too far. I need to go north. Oh, in case you notice, I don't have a compass anymore. I have this uh, thing. See, if I put it down, I push the button that would normally bring up the compass. It brings this up instead. This is what I found at the uh, their tent behind the fence. They were using this to track us. Okay. I like it. I gotta say, it's way better than a compass. <laughs> and if there's any kind of weirdness going on, it'll start beeping and I can just track it down and figure out what it is. Oh, time to crack some ankles. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, is cave this way or that way? Let's see where we're at. Um, oh, it doesn't really matter which way. I'm going to go this way, though. It is so smoky. I feel like death is upon me. This fire is going to engulf. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Here's the cave. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this right quick. Okay, explore. I'm, I'm guessing it's behind here. It's the only place I haven't been able to go in here. Oh, yeah. Now we get to figure out what is back here. Possibly a herd of bears. What the hell? Okay, well, before Jesus, I go there. Big cave. Let's see what's over here. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh god, sneeze. Sneeze. Freezing in here. Oh uh, yeah, dude, you're in a cave. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be warm in caves. I mean, I don't know. I'm guessing this is just going to be like a giant shortcut to another area on the map. Let's see where I'm at. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, oh! I, I don't know exactly where it's taking me. Maybe it's taking me to these ponds over here. I don't know. We're going to find out. Where is this? Oh, it did take me to the pond. Oh, okay. So let's figure out what this is. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Looks like there's something here. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up, he made a wall and a perimeter. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Sharper than a lot of the grown up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it. Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that waits over, huh. sweetheart. Uh, so call me is. sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, <laughs> boss. <laughs> hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I 
lied and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. Sure did. There's a lot of stuff out here. Sorry that I just gotta be throwing everything down wherever, but <laughs> my guy doesn't really have a good uh, coordination skills when it comes to putting stuff down <laughs> oh nice crotch yo yeah man who is this black black pen go ahead kill my family it only makes me stronger and without a family he'd hide out here to read comics the black band his grief is his enemy's sorrow Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Anything else over here? This is a pretty cool little place. Can I do something with that crack rock? Yeah, I'm not going up the rock, but it worked out. What do you think is in there? I don't know, really. I mean, we got to find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. They closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? <laughs> a, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. For real. Jail. I hear I hear jail sucks. Oh, uh, also, those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. <laughs> they took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. In case you guys are wondering, I'm headed back to the cave. We're going to go see that other path that we did not get to see. It was the uh, the long drop. Um, remember, we went um, across the edge. And um, explore the other area. Okay, here we go. Did they seriously shut that door? Oh, yeah, someone shut this door right after I went in.
Well, I guess we're not there now. Alright. What? I thought I could go down here. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, here we go. This game is reminding me so much of Uncharted 4. Um, I mean, I like Uncharted 4, but I'm just imagining what it would be like if it was first person like this. That would be insane. Because that game is way more intense as far as like the climbing and, um, you know, jumping on the mountains. It's insane. You would definitely be in for a treat if you could turn that game into a uh, first person. Oh, found something. Oh, shit. A figure. A body. Oh god. You're Brian what? Oh, god. Brian! It's the little boy! What? It looks like some rocks fell on his head and he died. Oh, that is so sad. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah, it's Brian Goodwin. How does that... What? I don't... How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's just what it was. He was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's, there's, there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Very sad indeed. He was a very smart guy. You know, it's always kind of sad to see a kid die. Anyway. Oh, it's like I'm packing up my stuff. This is my belonging, I believe. Oh, the planes are here. I wonder if I can, uh... Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Is <laughs> this the big fire, or the site fire, or...? Well, the 
two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec? You know, about things? About what? We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. Um, okay. I want to make sure, because there were some things that I could pick up and keep. I just want to make sure. Toilet paper. Oh, I can't take it with me. I guess, um, it's just not going to have any toilet paper. Um, it looks like I can't take any of this stuff. But all the important stuff, uh, like the tracking device and a couple notes and things like that I took. I don't know. It's probably important. Maybe I should definitely keep it, but that is it. Okay, let's, let's go. Looks well, like the signal from this thing is coming from the west, so let's go check out the west. This fire is like way out of control. Um, wow. Why is nobody putting this out? Oh, someone is putting it out. There, I, there was planes, so. I wonder how long it takes to put a fire out like this. All right, let's go see what's going on. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Looks like we found it. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Yeah, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. The winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and... She's a, she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down a lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. 
Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Okay, so he knows about me. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. Deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. B. Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Wow. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. I want to look at this stuff first. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. I'm definitely keeping all of this. Let me try reading one. Uh, Henry. Oh, this is another one on me. Keeps the path. Um, abandoned wife of 11 years would not be missed if removed. Removed? Research site info. How to break in. Uh, staff return August 10th. To do, return borrowed equipment, erase H and D Henry and Delisle evidence, leave no trace. Huh. Dude, you're getting busted, man. I got all your stuff. He's got the, he's got the teen magazines. He must have had the girls. He held on to some of Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. I'm sure he found it riveting. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. So this is what Brian looked like? And I'm guessing that was his dad. He... God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. a bunch of supplies they would need for the winter. Some electronic junk. Oh, a battery. This must have been from the uh, snowmobiles? He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. This boombox looks familiar. Uh, looks like that is all in here. I will take a picture. Just want to make sure I see everything first. Red Eagle. It's the same beer. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He 
had quite the view. Not so much of a view anymore. <laughs> okay, time to whip out this camera. Oh, I seen some notes. Get one more picture from this side. And then the hole that they came down in. Alright, you can't say I don't know how to take pictures. Uh, one more thing to do is look at these. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. Uh height to uh, BT point severed radio comm uh, the next day Delilah never called for hiker list a re-rigged Delano to pick up a dual frequency can hear Delilah and uh, two forks at concurrently two forks hiked by cave he seems less interested two forks jewels Julian Julia uh, two forks is a good guy haven't seen mama Grizz in two months uh, Delilah is drunk again <laughs> um, first ranger fly fishing at the lake a uh, reminder rainbows hitting cat flies saw mama Grizz on morning hike Rainy week, water stocks good, smoking trout while hikers gone. Brian Goodwin's birthday, saw first ranger of the year. Haven't left base in two weeks, three weeks, stir crazy. Big hike tomorrow, care. Um, new lookout in Two Forks, Henry at Two Forks. Saw Two Forks coming out of cave. Uh, Delilah calling for a hiker's list. I delay her, she'll forget. Okay, I think I pretty much got the gist of these. I'm just gonna take all those. And I am done in here. Time to get the heck out of here, man. This fire is gonna kill me. What do I gotta do? I gotta hike north to Thorfare? Okay, I know exactly how to get there. But first, let me look at my mic. I mean my map, because I'm not <laughs> not exactly sure. Well, where am I at? Okay, first I gotta find a way out of here, because I've never been here before. I miss my blue skies, man. I believe this is where I climbed up at. I mean, obviously there's a rope there. So. Um. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Where am I at now? Okay. I'm on a trail. I gotta go up there to for so I need to go. I'm going to cut through Thunder Canyon, so I'm going to go to the west and then go to Thunder Canyon. Okay. 
So, are you guys liking the game so far? I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. It was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Wasn't a good dad. No fucking shit. But... But what? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there. So they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm gonna be asked about Ned Goodwin. <sighs> e? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey! No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. What? You're gonna leave me? Uh, D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Just what if we missed something about, uh, something? I don't know. Nothing big going on. They'll come back for you. Just wait. I'm gonna go. Okay. I don't have. I don't even know what your face looks yeah. like. I have to. Hike safe. It w well, it would be nice to see what her face looks like at least. <laughs> Here we are. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? Yeah, in real life, my look, I would get in there and a freaking cable would snap. I don't have a map anymore. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is where Delilah has been hanging out the entire time. Is that what she looks like? Oh. Oh, that's a man. Now let's not get a better look at it. <laughs> that's a man. That must be her husband or something. No, I don't want to go outside. I mean, not her husband, her boyfriend or I don't know. Man, her bed is so, so much nicer than mine. Oh, a crossword champion. I don't want these. Dig it. I see your truck. 
Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. It's better than whatever you drive. What do you drive? A piece of shit. Well, there you go. Although I think there's a raccoon living in yours. Oh, she draw there's a drawing sure of me. Comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe. Come to Boulder with me. You make a good drink. <laughs> maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I am. Um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. She won't even recognize me, Delilah. You're not just going for her. You don't know what it's like. <sighs> Bad things happen, okay? And you have to... You have to find a way to contain the damage. A good way. Well, hopefully I can figure out a way to do that. Yeah, I hope so. God, this got dark. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, there's the helicopter. Good. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. You too. Good luck. You keep it for yourself. Bye, Hank. That's the game. Firewatch. Um Yeah, I think it was it was a little kind of uh, boring or tedious in the very beginning, but I think it it picked up kind of quick. I very I very much enjoyed um it once we found out that there was people following us and listening to our transmissions over the radio
I can't believe how many days did that fire go on? Like it, fire went on forever and it never got put out. I don't know. Um, oh, these must have been all the pictures that I took. I didn't know they would be in the end of the game. I thought it was going to be like maybe evidence or something that I could have, you know, um, used. But I guess not. Uh, she did. She told me that I only use the pictures to take pictures of certain things. So I mean, I could have been taking pictures of the actual like game, like nature and stuff, like all the good stuff. Instead, I took pictures of all the bad stuff, <laughs> like boxes and stuff. <laughs> um. Anyway. Yeah. That is the game Firewatch. If you liked it, please uh, watch all the parts for the full benefit of, you know, who wants to watch this one part? If you liked it, give me a like uh, by clicking the thumbs up button and subscribe. I will be uploading videos frequently, at least once a week, sometimes every day or every two days. My name is Pops. and. Have a great day.